In this chapter, we are going to see how to handle different types of tabs or the windows. Technically, tabs and the windows are both are same. Okay. For example, when I go to this letcode.in slash windows, this is our main page. And if I click on this open home page, you can see that it's going to bring up another tab. So when it is stuck within the browser, we call it as tab. If I plug it out, it is known as a separate window, right? But technically both are same. So there is no differences. So if I click on this, now I have to navigate and maybe I have to click the uh, test practice from this particular page. Okay, not this page, the second page, right? So we are going to see how to handle that. And it's going to be very simple. In Selenium, we call it as window handling so, um, concept, right? So first of all, first thing first, of course, we have to go and inspect this guy, the open home page, and we are going to use latex path as usual, and it has a ID called home. So we are going to do the click action. So let me use the click and I'm going to copy paste and that's it pretty much simple, right? Now, once I click on that, of course, it's going to return the new uh, page, right? So how to handle the new page is very simple. We have a concept called driver dot. Uh, switch to dot windows and here we have to pass the window id how do i know the window id of course we have to take it from the runtime because the window id is going to be random or dynamic in for every execution okay now we have a function called driver dot get window handles so that's going to return me set of string so what is the set set is basically uh, doesn't maintain the order as well as again it's based on the implementing class in selenium what have they done is basically they have done uh, like a, a window hash set what not linked hash set so linked hash set in the sense it will maintain the order okay and then uh, of course we know that in set we do not have a function called get but what we can do is we can create our list here and of course import it from java.util and we can make the generic as a string here and then I can say like a list and I can say new array list and within the constructor I can pass all the window handles that means what are the set we are set objects we are getting we are going to pass that within the list now I know that list will have probably the get function so I can switch based on that how let me show you before that we'll just try to print the size so this is going to return me the uh, size like the number of windows it opened so I'm just going to print that. So number of uh, windows and then we'll just have the string concatenation. So we are expecting this to be switched, right? So I'm just going to comment uh, this one as of now and let's go and run this now. Okay, so the new tab is opened and here you can see that we got number of windows equal to two, okay? Now on the second window, what I'm going to do is on the second window, I'm going to click on this test practice, right? So let's go and inspect that one. So it will be within the link text. So I can just copy the text and I can pass as it is, right? But before that, of course, I have to switch to that newly open window, right? So for that, we are going to use driver dot switch to window. And here we have to pass the uh, string, string in the sense, the window ID, right? So just in case, if you want to know how the window ID look, I can do the for each here. So basically it's a string so i can uh, i mean list of string so i can i will get one string at a time and i will say this is like window id i can say something like that and i can say sys out it right so i can say out. okay let me run this and show you how the window id is going to be look okay so let's see in the console and here you can see that it says like cd window some um, value right so some a long value actually okay alpha numeric value okay so this guy is basically gives that particular id now based on the id i have to switch right so i know that i have the uh, first id for first id is basically my parent and this is my secondary newly opened tab so i can grab that id and i can pass it over there right so how to do programmatically is very easy we know that everything is with the list object so here i can say like um, list uh, sorry for that so i can say like list dot get of zero or one so zero is the first window the parent main window and one is the newly opened window okay now once i um navigate to the secondary child window then i can say like driver dot uh, find element by link text and i can pass the test practice value uh, that is this one the link text of that particular element and of course i have to do the trim and then i can say like dot click okay 
that's it pretty much cool now let's go back and run this let's see the output so here you can see that the test uh, practice out uh, link has been clicked and we are able to see this page right so if you want to confirm you can just uh, check the title or the url we haven't seen the haven't seen yet like how to verify the title or the uh, url we will do that in the next chapter okay that's it pretty much cool this is what window handling switch uh, concept now uh, let's say that i have switched to this and i have clicked the uh, test practice site okay after that i want to close this current tab so what can i do is so i can say like driver dot close if you remember already i have discussed the difference between close and the quit so close in the sense it will close only the current active tab not the entire browser just to confirm that i'm going to run again and i'm going to show you Okay, so the tab is opened and the close, right? Now, if I have to close all the tabs, I can use the quit, right? So I can say driver dot quit. Can I can I use uh, close and quit at the same time? Definitely, hundred percent. You can use. There is no problem in that. Okay, and it is also adv advisable. So you can just close and quit, or else you use close. That in eventually that will close all the browser as well. Okay, so that's it. We are pretty much done for this one. So if you remember. Uh, you have sorry you have to remember now just in case if i have to again interact with the parent uh, window then of course i have to uh, use the syntax like driver dot uh, this one so driver dot switch to uh, the parent frame and here i have to pass the zero right so that is the uh, thing you can do to come back to the parent frame and from the parent frame as usual you find the element or do what are the logic you have to perform okay so now let's write a code to uh, handle in the base class right so i'm going to bring it down here and i'm going to write a function okay so public and i will name this like switch to frame uh, not the frame i'm going to say switch to window and then i'm going to pass here int so int i okay and this is going to be a uh, void here okay uh, why I'm passing int here because if you noticed in the argument of this is to window is basically going to ask us the string right so here you can see it is basically asking the name or handle that is string data type but we are passing I, uh, integer the reason is within that we are going to use the same code like list dot get and list generic type is basically string so if we get something from that it will return only the string okay I hope that makes sense to you okay now let's copy the entire code and uh, i'm just going to paste over there that's it very simple this is how we have to create the frameworks basically the basic frameworks not that once one and uh, this is not needed so we'll just uh, delete that code that is just for learning and here instead of one i will pass it like i okay so if you pass one it will go to the new open tab if you pass zero it will go to the parent window okay that's it pretty much cool now just in case if you want to uh log something you can say like uh, switch to the switch to switch to the window switch to the window something like that okay if you're understanding that's fine okay that's it i uh, will see in the next chapter very soon